We are getting you set for school again, and this morning the executive director of IDEA Public Schools is joining us to talk about a big announcement that he's making right here first on KXN. Good morning, Larkin Tackett. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So this announcement, this is very interesting. You guys are going to be opening a new school that, as I understand, is going to be focusing on health related issues or, yeah. or and basically training the next crop of doctors and nurses so, so what kind of ages are we talking about and how do you start that that training so young yeah we are super excited to work with uh, a lot of organizations in austin that are focusing on building a healthier austin uh, and we are announcing today to your viewers uh, we're going to open the, the nation's first school uh, that's pre-K through 12, preparing our future health professionals. So not only doctors and nurses, and we need more of those in our community, but also the next generation of leaders who will solve our big health policy challenges mm -hmm. and, you know, um, uh, and the legal issues in the health profession. So we're going to start really young, building science and math foundational skills and really preparing them to solve these big challenges in health in our community. So how do you go about that with a, you know, a fourth grader? How do you teach that kind of... Topic. Yeah, no, again, it's it's to make sure that they first have very strong foundational skills in STEM, right? So they know the, the you know, uh, science and math uh, skills, not only at level, but are really starting to push themselves, um, you know, to make sure that they master those skills um, so that they can prepare uh, for success in those in those professions. But uh, when I talk to folks at Dell Medical School and UT, uh, we need future health professionals that not only know the science, uh, but also have skills like empathy uh, mm -hmm. and caring um, and, you know, can use data in the community. So those are types of the things that we want to make sure that our students can master. Wanted to touch on a separate issue because recently the NAACP came out in, in opposition to, to charter schools. Um, was that surprising for you? Was that something you thought would be would be a supporter? Yeah, certainly uh, it was not, uh, you know, uh, we don't like to see announcements like that, but I can tell you, John, that we have had great relationships with civil rights organizations in the Austin community, like the NAACP, like the Austin Area Urban League, who believe like we do that all kids, regardless of their background, deserve really great educational options. I mean, I know your focus is on educating the kids we have here right. in Austin, but looking at the bigger picture, sure. is there a way, do you think, to win over the support of a group like the NAACP? Well, I think first people need to understand the facts. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of myths about public charter schools, and certainly people are entitled to their own opinions, but not to their own facts. Uh, uh, you know, so we want to make sure that people understand that our school is an option, that we serve all kids, right? Public charter schools serve all kids by law, um, and that's just information that needs to get out there. Um, and, you know, I think organizations like, the, you know, the National NAACP should listen to families, right, who are really looking for more options for their kids. All right, well, exciting stuff coming up. Larkin Tackett, thank you very much. We Thanks. appreciate you taking the time. It's now